Hey guys, welcome back to Plan Tech Video. Today I'll be talking about the Android 11. Watch the video till the end and let me know in the comments below which of the features you like the most about the Android 11. Now let's begin! <music> 2019's Android 10 update was a big shift for the operating system. Not only did we get a long wait dark mode, and important changes to app permissions. Android 10 also marked Google's departure from desert names and assured a new Android logo or brand. Android 10 was a year of growth and maturity for the operating system and those same principles are being carried over to Android 11. The core user interface and design remains mostly unchanged but a bunch of smaller tweaks and features help to further refine the platform as a whole. Ready to learn all about what Android 11 is packing? Here is everything you need to know. Google launched a final build for Android 11 on September 8, 2020. Android 11 was also available day one select handsets from OnePlus, Xiaomi, Oppo, and Realme. That's a big step forward for Android updates as a whole but there's also still plenty of work that's left to be done. If you have a phone from Samsung, Motorola, or most other companies, you'll be waiting a few more months before Android 11 arrives on your device. We'll dive into some of the Android 11's biggest features. It's understandable that some people may find Android 11 to be boring or not very different from Android 10, but the fact of the matter is that Android no longer needs massive overhauls every single year, the way they used to. The core Android experience in 2020 is really darn good, and Android 11 elevates it even more. All of the conversation improvements are really good for streamlining notifications. More powerful permissions is always something we're happy to see, and the redesigned power button menu adds a ton of extra functionality. There are a couple of changes that aren't completely impressive namely a new multitasking window and suggested apps feature for the home screen, but those things are easy to overlook. The vast majority of what Google did with Android 11 was for the better, and the end result is software that's more functional and enjoyable to use. First on the list, we have chat bubbles. Similar to what Facebook's offered for years with its Messenger app on Android, chat bubbles in Android 11 hide your ongoing conversations and little bubbles on the side of your screen. You can move the bubbles around, and tapping on them reveals that specific conversation. The Bubbles API is available for all messaging apps, with Google encouraging developers to adopt it. It also makes it easier for you messaging notification to stand out from other ones, ensuring you never miss an important text ever again. Speaking of messages and notifications, Android 11 makes it possible to send images when replying to a message directly from the notification shape. What's new with permissions in Android 11? When an app asks for the permission to use your sensitive features, like your location, microphone or camera, you can choose to only grant it access on a one-time basis. The app will be able to use that permission during the instance of you using the app, but as soon as you leave it, the permission is revoked. The next time you use the app and it wants to use that permission, it needs to be granted access again. Giving apps permission to these aspects of your phone should not be taken lightly. So we are thrilled to see Google giving users more control over their data like this. The other big upgrade smartphone displays have seen has to do with faster refresh rate. It's no longer uncommon for phones to ship with the screens that are fresh at 90Hz or 120Hz. And Android 11 allows developers to make a better advantage of these powerful displays. Developers can select which refresh rate their application should run at. They can make that decision and have the phone's display change its refresh rate accordingly when using that app. Alright guys, we reached the end of the video. If you enjoy this video or find it useful, make sure to smash the like button. Also, if you're new around here or haven't subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.